Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and today we are gonna go through all of this fucking info that just dropped for us merely hours ago. Guys, this is about six year six years. This is about six or seven hours uh, fresh. So you can still smell this cooking out of the oven. You got the aromas, you got the fragrances, the fucking lavender, the honeydew, all that magical shit, guys. Strap in. This is going to be one hell of a doozy. We got like six announcements to go through. Uh, none of them are character related, but all of them are fucking awesome, all right? If Netmarble does one thing really well for us in this game, it's with uh, events and giveaways and check-in stuffs and free shit okay this is the fucking freeloaders dream game we're constantly getting you know shot in the face from forehead to chin with free shit and it just drenches us effervescently here we go first off off at the top I want to talk about the new mode that's gonna be coming in the world boss double team rift yes guys two dicks one rift here we go so what does this mean? We're going to have special dimension rifts, kind of like those special dimension rifts we had just before the Gwenpool update. If you guys recall, there was a uh, special Loki rift, and then there was a special, I believe, Iron Fist rift. Uh, so think of those rifts uh, when you think of these ones, except instead of Loki and Mr. Fister, or the uh, hip-hop vampire known as Iron Fist, you have two world bosses. So, you, Nowhere Man includes uh, Ebony, uh, good old black and white Ebony Maw, and uh, Black Dwarf, the, uh, the giant orange Harambe. So, those two are going to be fought back to back, all right? 90, 92, 93, World Series, Jays, fuck all you baseball haters. Uh, you're going to fight these uh, world bosses back to back. I'm talking back to back. They're going to play this shit back to back. Um, and then on the other day, you're going to go back to back against Proxima and her husband, good old hubby, Corvus. So, you know, she'll stick you with her spear and he'll stick you with his glaive, even though it's a halberd. I do know my medieval weaponry, guys. I'm obviously a LARPing fucking genius. So, uh, what does this mean? Well, uh, it means, first of all, more fucking shit. We're going to get more debris. We're going to get more antimatter fucking gold dust we're gonna get more diversity stones okay guys uh so all more resources if you can five out of five the world bosses now hopefully you can five out of five these ones these will count in addition to the the regular runs that you have so this is not like a pick and choose uh kind of thing this is a fucking buffet you eat there you eat here you eat everywhere you leave with your you know with your belt around your fucking ankles all right this is a uh, this is an all-you-can-eat scenario. Uh, it's awesome for lots of reasons, guys. One, it's an increase in difficulty. Basically, what's going to happen, we don't know the full details yet, but uh, once you kill the first boss, there will be hopefully a cool cutscene, and then the second boss will, you know, climb out of their corpse, or um, like alien style, or maybe they'll come out of the ashes, or maybe they'll come out of the sky, like superhero jump style, whatever, superhero landing. Um, I don't know what's going to happen, but then you'll fight the other one. And then, uh, well, your team stays the same. So you don't get to re-up uh, in that sense. You'll keep the same strikers in the same three-man or three-woman or three-mixed-gender squad. Uh, hopefully, the one thing that I do hope is that the timer resets. Um, that's not for me specifically. That's mostly for new players because I think killing both Ebony and Black Dwarf in five minutes is a bit difficult. Uh, that would pose a challenge for most of the player base, which, on the one hand, I am excited for and I privately want. I know that would make a lot of people rage on the Reddit and in the community, and they would feel like, you know, maybe with their Loki team or their Shirog team, they could have gotten one kill off if they had 10 minutes to do it, or even like 8 minutes. They can do like, you know, a, a halfway timer. Um, but if it's a five minutes for both and they just don't have the DPS from their card bonuses or their alliance bonus or something like that, then they're just going to feel uh, like shit because this will basically be like a alliance tournament. So you're going to watch other people crushing pussy and you're just going to be on the sidelines, man. That's a sideline story. So, uh, yeah, I'm super hyped for this, though. This is kind of like the precursor to uh, making uh, Crystal Blue. Uh, no, this is the precursor to... Um, co-op uh, battles from the world uh, world boss uh, 
tab in the game, uh, that blue button that we haven't been able to press for the last like eight months. Uh, this could be the final push that we need from like a beta version with a rift uh, to finally seeing a mode where you go in with you know your friend and then you get to like pound on two or three world bosses or get pounded on by them if you're into that and uh, have a shitload of fun. So I am super maximum fucking hyped for this shit. Um, you know, my Harambe's are about to burst in my pants. And uh, this is almost, to me, this is more exciting than new characters. This is more exciting than uh, Yellow Jacket and Giant Man, uh, Pimp Slapping Wasp. This is just fantastic. I'm so glad we're getting this, guys. So kudos to Netmarble for that. Second thing we're getting, a whole bunch of free shit. Okay, this is the loot crate without the fucking loot crate. As obnoxious as that, as that shit can be, I did reference it. Uh, so basically, all this jargon aside, Moon Knight's going to give us a bunch of shit just for logging in, which I know you drooling monkeys can do, because I can do it. We're going to get gold, we're going to get dimension debris, we're going to get obelisks, we're going to get gear up kits, we're going to get cards, we're going to get biometrics and ISOs. Yeah, so it's, um, it's what we've kind of come to expect, so there was a, uh, you know, oh, thank you for the dimension rift, Mark 13, smiley face Japanese character. Um, this is kind of uh, part of the course for Netmarble. This is their usual uh, giveaway style, but I just really love it, and I can't complain, and it's awesome, uh, especially with the gear up kits because I'm actually out of them recently, and it blew my fucking mind, so it'll come in really handy. All you got to do is log in. That's awesome. I told you guys, uh, I mentioned in another video about uh, the upcoming Chusok and stuff like that, so um, this is why that's happening. Next thing we have coming up is the 500-day celebration. This is a different... Um, this is different than the login event, okay? So these ones will show up in the notice box and you're gonna have to collect them. So the items uh, will show up all at once and then you just go into the notification box and you collect them. I'll show you guys at the end of the video how you'll be able to do that. It's very straightforward, but in case you're very, very new and you don't know, I don't want you to miss out on it because this is an awesome thing to just give away to every fucking character. You just have to log in once to get this stuff, guys. It's awesome. So basically you get an obelisk, a rank up ticket, comic card chest, debris, and gear ups. Like that's awesome. Between those two alone, you're getting over a thousand gear up kits. You're getting like a thousand debris or more. No, you're getting a thousand debris, yeah. Two five star cards. I mean, guys, they're giving us a lot. It's awesome. Here we go with the next one, guys. Another faction battle. Good old Cap versus the Tin Ken himself, Tony fucking Stark. Uh, same kind of thing where, uh, you know, it's... It's the Registration Act versus uh, regular superheroes. Of course, guys, if you're not a piece of shit, you'll vote with Cap. But uh, I understand if you go Team Iron Man because it usually beats Team Cap and you get better rewards at the end. And who doesn't like winning? So that's awesome that they're bringing that in. Next one, a special Lunar Package. So this is not something that you're getting for free. This is something that you're getting the opportunity to buy f with mommy or daddy's credit card. Or if you're a big boy now... Uh, you can pull up your Huggies, and you'll be able to buy it yourself for $24.99. I assume that's U.S., um, and that price will change depending on where you live um, and either, whether you're using iOS or Android. And the contents of the package are a six-star Mega Rank Up and Mastery Ticket, which is worth about 2,600 crystals. Uh, a six-star Obelisk, which is worth close to 1,000 crystals. Uh, six star fully ascended ISO chest, which is also worth close to a thousand crystals. Five million gold, which I don't know, fucking it's some crystals. Uh, 1600 gear ups and 1600 dimension debris. So, I mean, this package is worth north of like 7,000 crystals, I would guess. Six, six to 7,000 crystals, if my, um, if my wizardry is correct. But uh, the only thing you need to know about this uh, package is it will not contribute one iota of progress to your uh, VIP level. If you're VIP zero and you buy this, you will still be a fucking free-to-play player. Um, that's the only caveat. Uh, it's still a great package, though. Um, and trust me, I know a lot about great packages when I see them, especially ones that are mostly black and have little spots of white on them. Um, and so basically... Uh, if you're looking to spend money on this game and $25 sounds good to you and you don't care about uh, not getting any VIP uh, benefits, then uh, I would highly recommend this uh, package. Uh, it's firm, it's long, 
Uh, it's full of hard things that uh, you can put to use right away. And uh, in all seriousness, guys, uh, for the amount of uh, for the amount of money that you'd pay to get crystals um, as a comparison, you'd have to wait a lot longer to use those crystals up by waiting for specific deals that will come around, like when they do the uh, tiered the tiered sales for mega rank up tickets and stuff like that. That doesn't happen all the time. Those aren't like constant sales. So uh, to get the same value out of this for your money, like bang for your buck, essentially, if you convert it into crystals, let's say you did five Stark packages, for example. That would take you a five months and b it would be indetermined it would be undetermined if sorry i had to burp if you uh would actually be able to find the same uh packages or the same like smaller component deals to spend crystals on to make up for or uh resemble this lunar special package so all in all i think this is a great thing to add to the store it shows them that it shows us that Netmarble is looking uh, more closely at the store and giving us more competitive deals to reflect not only our changing needs as players, but also um, you know, what we have come to expect from them in terms of value. Uh, it's, it's one of the most annoying feelings when uh, they release new content, they release new shop updates, and the stuff is just not in line at all with what we've come to expect for in value and like crystal to dollar ratio. So it's good that they're uh, keeping sight of that. Last but not least, guys, we have Taskmaster's Blitz Battle World. Uh, in this one, you'll notice, guys, the reward at the bottom of the second picture is Moon Knight, and then fucking Moon Knight, and then Moon Knight, and then Moon Knight. So they've obviously gone like totally lunar with uh, this with this event and this theme. I think it's cute. Uh, I like it. I already have Moon Knight Tier Two, so it's not gonna help me, but I can feed those bios to uh, Black Order characters to level them up. So that's cool. And uh, I think it's nice that they do this kind of stuff once in a while. And it also is really clever because it encourages people who maybe have not thought of Moon Knight as a character they want to level up to consider it. Thank you, Imgun, for the Dimension Rift. I finally got your name right the first time, bro or sis. I don't know. Maybe you're a fucking plant. Who knows? But anyways, uh, I think it's really cool, and I think they could explore this uh, opportunity or explore this idea a little bit deeper uh, and do, like, you know, all bullseye because obviously that guy has fucking retard strength and he's fucking dope. That's why everybody uses bullseye, guys. He's secretly the most OP character in the game. Fucking bullseye, you know, you're, I don't know, yeah, true. Uh, so um, that's it, guys, for the uh, checkup for all of this stuff that's coming at us. I'm super hyped about it. And I hope you are too. Uh, and I just wanted to say, um, just out of my own uh, free will, I'm not being told to say anything obviously or anything like that. Not that anyone would tell me anything because who the fuck am I? But uh, I just think it's great. I really am pleased with these updates and these, um, you know, like, it's not really content, but this, like, it kind of feels like content that's coming our way. I mean, the Dimension Rifts, the new double battle, double world boss Dimension Rifts are, are content, but... It just feels really good that we're getting this stuff, um, and it's it's coming within the the scope or within the perspective of other things that are to come. We know Yellow Jacket and Mega, and and uh, Giant Man's Mega Man, the six star skills are coming, uh, and we know that other things are coming down the pipeline later too. So it's just great to see that like not a week or two weeks goes by without us getting something. Uh, it's really awesome, and uh, I love it. So thanks. Uh, to Netmarble. And uh, of course, guys, if you like what you see, I hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care.